welcome to my channel so if you are watching my video so you might have seen that we already covered the first shifting property change of scale property the linearity property derivative formulas then multiplication by t division by t integral properties right so let us come to the practical problems of laplace transform so let us start with the first problem so we need to evaluate 0 to infinity t e raised to power minus 3t sin t dt. So here you can see there is no Laplace written over here, right? So you need to calculate the integral from 0 to infinity. If you remember day 1 of my lecture on Laplace, we did that. How did we define Laplace of any function ft? Laplace of any function ft is nothing but 0 to infinity integral ft e raised to power minus st d right this is how we defined an integral term so you can see that we are given such type of integral to perform so now when i compare it with 0 to infinity with the given integral t e raised to power minus 3 t sine t dt so if i compare these two integrals can you tell me what is my function ft my function ft is t into sine t and when I compare the exponential terms, can you tell me what is s? s is equal to 3. So that means if this integral is same as Laplace of ft, this integral will be same as Laplace of t into sine t. Isn't it? So how to calculate Laplace of t into sine t? We'll start with Laplace of sine t first. Laplace of sine t is 1 by s square plus 1. When we multiply it with t into sine t, what will I get? Multiplication means it will become a derivative here. So it is minus 1 raised to power 1. First derivative of s square plus 1 raised to power minus 1. So this is minus the sine. Then this will be again a minus sign. s square plus 1 raised to power minus 2 multiplied by 2s. So this finally becomes 2s upon s square plus 1 whole square. Right? Now, we need to calculate Laplace of t into sine t at s equal to 3. Right? So, let us put s equal to 3 here. So, we get 2 into 3. 3 square plus 1 whole square. So, this is 6 upon 9 plus 1, 10. 10 square is 100. So that is nothing but 3 by 3. Right? So let us try to do one more problem. So now in this exercise, we have to solve 0 to infinity e to the power minus t sine t by t dt. And then we have to evaluate this integral, right? So now what is to be done? We can see that in this case, if I compare it with ft e raised to power minus st dt. What is my ft function? ft is sine t by t. And if I compare exponential terms, I get s is equal to 1. So that means I need to calculate Laplace of sine t by t. Right? So we start with Laplace of sine t first. Laplace of sine t is 1 by s square plus 1. Then Laplace of sine t by t will become s to infinity 1 by s square plus 1 ds. So this is very simple integral tan inverse s, s to infinity. So it is basically tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse s. So tan inverse infinity is pi by 2 minus tan inverse s. So that becomes simply cot inverse s. Right? And then when I have to evaluate the integral from 0 to infinity e raised to power minus t sine t by t dt. Then it is equal to cot inverse s from s at 1. So this is cot inverse of 1 which is pi by 4. 
Now to solve the second integral, it's a direct implication from here. So in this case, you can see that s is equal to 0. There is no exponential term, so s is equal to 0. So from this step, we can directly solve it. We will have pi by 2 minus tan inverse 0. So tan inverse 0 is 0, so we will simply get pi by 2. That means 0 to infinity sine t by t dt is equal to pi by t. Right? So that's all. I hope you understood this question. So if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.